long ago, Miss Shameless, and I have Miss Amber's closet. What's up, guys? <laughs> it's Sunday morning. It's early. It's early. I'm not used to this. <laughs> Either am I. But she has a ball game to get to after. Mm -hmm. So it's just going to be a makeup look. Not a ball game. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> what do you call it? You know, basketball. Basketball, but whatever. <laughs> Do you have yeah. a certain look for the court? Or just um, yeah, every day? I would say I have a very natural. Like I put makeup on and then I like dab it off a little bit. You <laughs> yeah, I'm like. <laughs> Not that tough. But yeah, pretty much. Like so, very like trying to be as natural, natural looking as possible. I get that. Yeah, I feel that. What are you gonna do? She brought us some donuts. But they're so cute, they're so tiny, so mm -hmm. I don't feel as guilty. Okay, what am I gonna do? Um, I always do the same thing, so I feel like I should go crazy. Go crazy? You should <laughs> let me do your makeup. Amber does my makeup challenge. I'm good though. This is her cute little makeup bag. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna chit chat into our face. Into yeah, our face. I'm ready. <laughs> I prime. You prime? Oh yeah, but I kinda did. Oh, did you? Yeah, Already? I have this spray too. What's that? It's from Lush. Oh, Lush. It's so bomb. It's tea tree, but um, I get the big one. I just keep filling up the little one. Oh, and then what is it? A toner or is it a primer? I think it tones and hydrates. Oh, okay. And then I, after, when I use it pre and set. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going in. She's gonna go in. I'm doing it, guys. Mm, a little, little bit. <sighs> so how long have you been playing basketball for? Forever. Really? Oh yeah. Her dad's a basketball. No, football player. A football player. But, yeah, I played oh. basketball through college and like a little bit professional for a little bit. Okay. The league that I'm in now is considered semi-pro. So you've always been athletic? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I played everything. Track, went to state for track, played soccer. Yeah. Somebody yeah. asked me in my new Q&A if, um, <laughs> if Shannon and I would win in a race. I heard her talk about it before, but of course I'm <laughs> I'm gonna say me because I'm undefeated. <laughs> Nobody's really? ever raced me in like in high in school, what? in college, in uh, the 100 and 200. I've never been really? beaten. Never. My I sister's been the only one on my heels before. Oh, really? Like, boom, boom. Shannon didn't do 100. What did she do? She did something longer. I think, yeah, I think she did two, four, 200, 400. What did you do? I did 100. Did you? I would do 50 if I could. Damn, yeah. Because <laughs> I only have enough time. You're quick energy. out the block? <laughs> yeah. Man, I, I was one of those. I wasn't quick out the block, and I was just like, take off and just catch up to you. Oh, okay, My yeah. sister was so fast. Okay. If we ended it at 50, I'd be good. I feel like this is a little bit lighter than I am now, because I've been getting even blacker than normal. Let's look at this. That? Peak to this darkness. Is you black? Uh, is well, I that's black? a conversation. Oh, I use my fingers, too. Don't make fun of me, people. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I get it done though. I use, you know what, let me use my fingers. Yeah, you do? For my eyes. Like for glitter stuff, because I want it to stick on my eyelids, so I use it. I'm using this. This MAC palette. It tropical like, cool Yeah, times. I was about to say that. Looks Nine. tropical. Ooh, and I use this in Trinidad, so that's what I'm going to do. I posted a photo on Instagram, and everyone's like, makeup! <laughs> <laughs> Teach me how you did that. Okay, so what is? what are you? You're mixed. Well, okay, pretty what much I'm like you? black and white. But if you like break it down. Did you do a um, DNA test? Um, uh uh. Okay. My parents just told me. Okay. <laughs> my dad is black and Native American, and then my mom is German, Irish, Mexican, Native American. It's crazy. Okay, so my grandpa is Mexican and Native American, and then my grandma's German, Irish, and then on my dad's side, my grandma's black and Native American, and then my dad's black, and then my grandpa black. So pretty much I'm just like black and white. <laughs> I'm just extra light skin. And you grew up here in LA? Yeah. Well, yeah, my, well, my dad did. Oh, okay. I went to school in Sacramento with my oh, mom. Oh, Sacramento. That's yeah. where Ari's from, too, right? No, from the Bay. Oh. Mm hmm. Everybody thinks Sacramento's the Bay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I it's had a not. face of like dumb. Like, it's like hella inland. Educate me. I know, you Canadians. <laughs> We're like two hours with from each other. So who, which parents did you grow up with? Your mom or your dad or both? Um, I'm a daddy's girl, so wherever my dad was was home for me, but I live with my mom. Oh, okay. So you had a good relationship. With my dad? Your dad. Uh-huh. I didn't have He's one. probably going to call me five times while we're here. Really? Yeah. That's how close you guys are. Yeah. Have you guys always been that close? Yeah. What about your mom? Mm, oh, yeah. We're cool. Once I moved out, we got real cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That'll do that. Same with my mom. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't know why I still get so annoyed by her. She's oh, because she just talks to me like a child, as if I'm You're still 12. You're her baby. I know, but still. Yeah, it's only you and your brother, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you're her baby girl. That's my face, mom. 
Oh yeah, mom's gonna watch this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom's such a huge fan. I love it. Thank you, mom. Well, I know my mom has all her friends in her office and stuff like watching, watching. and it sucks because I always like will sit there and be like, "Ooh, this would be a really good topic, right?" And then it'll be like something sexual or something, and oh. I'll be like, "I right away I'll think of my girlfriend's parents <laughs> or my mom or her friends at work watching," and I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I can't do it." I know. I mean, I still do it. Oh, there's two videos I wanted to do last week that I didn't, do, you didn't do. Thinking oh. about that. Yeah, Just keep it because in. when I do Q and A's and people ask me que uh, like right. certain questions that I feel like, oh, that could be a whole video. Right. I have a lot to say, but one of them was like on something sexual. I'm just gonna say. Can you say here? Your mom's not gonna watch it, is she? No, can your <laughs> <My> mom? mom. <laughs> yeah, you're, that's what I'm thinking of now. Now I'm curious. What the heck were you gonna do that you didn't do? Um, spill oh, that tea. Is, um, oral. Oh, really? Something. Oral. How do you? How do you give good oral? Yes. Oh. And I'm, I'm the master. I should share really? my secret. You but should. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you for the encouragement. Just say in the beginning, mom, please don't watch this. Please turn off. <laughs> please shut it down and right anybody, now. And don't show this to your office staff. <laughs> yeah, anybody under like, what, 18? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I know. Right. The kids under these 18. days. <laughs> they're like 12 years old emailing me like, how do I come out? <laughs> I know exactly who I am. I'm like, what? Oh, it took me much longer. Sit down. Actually, how, how old were you when you, did you come out? In stages. In stages? Yeah, ah. I would say, you, you wouldn't think I would be out already right now? No, I mean, because sometimes people don't come out. They're just like, oh, I am who I am. Oh yeah, true. I wish it, I mean, kind of. Everybody does it like differently, but I don't know. I came, like okay, I did it in you? stages. Yeah. Like, um, only my basketball team knew, like when, when I was in high school, like outside of school. And then in college, like literally a handful of people until I think my junior year of college, I got with this girl I was really serious about. And then I wanted to tell a bunch of people. But then her family was, her dad, her stepdad was a reverend. Hold on. Her pastor. Did they know she was? No. She so that's okay. why she like kept me in the closet for longer. Oh, I think you I was, told me about this. Yeah, yes. I was ready to come out. And then she, you know. So you already come out with her. You guys were gonna do it together. Yeah, but we nobody did. Nobody knew for, on your end either. No. Oh well. Yeah, just a little bit. So with her, we just told our close friends and like. Right. Yeah, and then that's when I told all my best friends from high school, and then most of them were just like, I like made up the. I set up this whole scene like, oh my god, I'm gonna tell you something so dramatic oh. and <laughs> everything's gonna be so different. And like right away, I started telling them I had like I was sick, like I had like it was really bad. But oh, this you is didn't the only. Come out? No, well, well, no, I told them, I was like, oh, um, you know, some people I told, oh, I have like, you know, this is nothing to play with. But at the time I thought I need to tell them something dramatic and then just be like, okay, no, I'm sorry, I'm gay. So I told one of them that like I had cancer. <laughs> no, you I didn't. know, it's so ridiculous. But this is a long time ago, don't yeah. judge me. And then, and then when she almost started crying, I was like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm, stop. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> or like, I like girls or something like that I said. And she was just like, <sighs> Wait, so you're not sick? Like, <laughs> she didn't even care. She's just so confused. Most of them just went, okay, and? And? Yeah. And what? Like, we didn't know? I, you didn't know what? what? They were, su like, surprisingly to me, they were surprised. Oh, oh, really? I thought it became so obvious. Oh, yeah. But. Because a, a few of my friends, when they came out to me, I'm like, this is not news. <laughs> I knew that already. I knew this. I'm glad you know now. <laughs> right, I'm glad you caught up with what I knew. <laughs> yeah. My mom kind of, my mom pretty much said that. Like, no, I knew since you were like six. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Six? It makes sense. She caught me like playing house with this girl when I was like nine. What were you guys doing? Kissing or something? Yeah, we were just like. <laughs> <laughs> playing house? <laughs> I was always daddy. But you, you had a boyfriend. Yeah, I had a bunch. You had a bunch. I like collected boys in high school. That was your thing. I went to all the dances with all the fine boys from every high school. If you were single, do you think you'd ever date a guy? No. Ever again? You're done. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I figured that out um, after I got with her. Uh -huh. Because, like, I was really serious with my boyfriend freshman year of college, and he talked about wanting to get married and stuff. And so he was great. And if it didn't work with him, it was definitely not going to work with anybody. And if I didn't want to like have sex with him, I definitely there was no man, right, that was ever gonna be able to. Oh, so you haven't even been with a guy? No, no. Mm -hmm. They call that in lesbian world, they, or gay world, they call that gold star. 
gold star? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. In the world, so everyone knows that? No, not everybody. <laughs> it's like in like kind of like the gay world. I put a lot of mascara on right now, but I'm That's doing so the, pretty. I'm doing the most for you guys. Wait you know what I'm saying? You got lashes. Yeah. She's got lashes. Like I have no lashes. <laughs> Yeah, that's one thing. Holy that's why crap. I love like, mascara. They look like you have extensions on. Yeah? Like you had... Look at them. Thank you. I, would, I should do a profile shot because you look like cow lashes. You know cows have like crazy lashes? Oh, yeah, they do. Cows and giraffes. Oh, my boyfriend was saying how. He's like, yo, giraffes low-key... Um, Mess with me. I'm like, why? He's like, one of them were look was staring at me when when he was young. He was at a like zoo or something. Mm -hmm. He was so mesmerized by the giraffe's lashes. He's like, this giraffe is flirting with me. No, for real. I was scared of giraffes when I was younger because there's this um zoo in Texas. Drive your car around. You could buy this feed and then like certain things walk around and you might can like feed them. So my mom was like stopped. She stopped the car and we had the sunroof open. She oh. stopped the car and she was like doing something. I don't know what she's doing, like her makeup or something. And then I woke up to a giraffe through our sunroof in like eating out of the bucket that I fell asleep in my hand. I woke up to the <laughs> It was crazy. Oh my God. I was like scared of them. Like how do you just wake up to a giraffe in your lap? That is funny. I've never actually seen a giraffe in real life. What? Oh my god, you gotta go see. We just went and saw a bunch of us, like YouTubers. Like, we went Where and saw um, to Giraffe in Palm Springs. We got to actually got to feed it and everything. It was so cute. Did it look happy? Yeah, I was happy. He had like I a was nice sad passion. For, like, animals in the zoo. I was traumatized by that actually. Mm. I remember my mom was going through it when we were young. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. This is probably around the time when she like moved out for my dad or whatever. And um, some telemarketer called asking for money for the zoo. I just remember my mom screaming at the woman. She's like, let the animals free. They're not supposed to be caged up. And then she threw the phone. And I was, I don't know how old I was. I was young, like six or something. And I, I picked up the phone. I'm like, hello. <laughs> and she's like, oh, we're just calling for a donation. I'm like, I don't think my mom can talk right now. <laughs> Bye. Aww. But I was traumatized by that. Now I'm like, yo, animals shouldn't be caged yeah. up. No, I, you know what? I did not realize that happy. until I got older. Yeah. When we went to Florida, I went to this alligator one, mm -hmm. and it made me so sad. There was like 50 of them in this one little area, oh. and they all like looked like dead or tranquil, tranquil, tranquil oh, they're all like, tranquilized. Yeah, tranquilized. Yeah. De tranquilized. I don't know why that's hard to say. And then when I went to Thailand, me and one the person that I was with literally got into a fight where like we weren't cool for like the rest of the trip because she wanted to go to an elephant place where I know that they treat them bad. Oh. So we got into a terrible fight. Yeah. So now I'm like more conscious of it. So I just don't want to allow that if possible. Yeah. If that makes sense. Poor elephants. They're so sweet. And they're so intelligent. I know. And they have like a really good memory. Yeah. They're, I was going to say, they're not going to forget what you're doing to them like ever. And then the women are like the matriarchs. I love elephants. They run tings. They run tings. Hold on, what are you doing? I'm filling in my... Hold on, what is this? My hairline. Using? Oh, this is like black edge control. Oh! Yeah, color your edges. I just like try to even it out, especially because I've had white hairs since I was like 16. Really? Yeah, just like, I don't know if it's like a birthmark thing, but like right in the front of my hair, head, I've had like white hair. So I'll do this to like blend them in. Oh. And then, or just like even out my hairline or whatever. I did a base, a little bit of powder because I get shiny. shiny. And then, what do you call this stuff? I put on my like cheek line. Um, it's bronzer. Yeah, I get done hella fast. I know. Are you I'm done? I'm about to done? start doing yours. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, once I do it, I start to like wipe it off a little bit. I usually do these um the wet like makeup removers, but I'm using this napkin from Coffee Bean. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit wet for my coffee, oh, and I'll just like dab, 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 dab. <laughs> <laughs> try to take a little off. <laughs> I want to have makeup on, but then I don't want to look like I have makeup on. I know. So I use very, very little because I don't know. She's that's just... naturally gorgeous, guys. Oh, okay, that's you. <laughs> no, that's not. Go this is my favorite step of all. <laughs> I feel like I take a shower. You have to use this. Okay, I'll use it at the end. All right, because it's, it's going to change your life. Lush. It's from Lush. Tea tree spray. The label's gone. <laughs> but it's plump. That's how you know. It's, it's been used. It's, do you ever get makeup sent to you? Yeah. You do? What well, do you get um, sent to you? Glam Glow. 
Usually oh, my okay. sister or my girlfriend steal it. I don't know most of these things like that I have besides the stuff at Mac because my girlfriend works there. But yeah, like a lot of this stuff gets into me, like the tart stuff or Beautycon. Oh yeah. I get a lot of stuff from Beautycon or whatever. And that's always fun. Especially I liked this last one because I was on a really cool panel. Yeah, I mean I wasn't there for but you guys were kicking it. Yeah. I came at the end, I think. You, Shannon, and Ari. Mm hmm Yeah. Are you doing the next one? Um, I don't know. It's in New York again. Oh, the ne New York one next year, or is it's it in early? May? Oh, wow. No, I don't think so. Because my birthday, I can't go. When's your birthday? May 20th. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was there last year for your birthday. But oh, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. two days oh, yeah, before kinda, your birthday. I think I want to do like another... We're going to have a big party out here. Yeah, do that. That was fun. I was oh, right. lit. And then we were talking about possibly doing a tour. Do we tell them? Yeah. We're thinking about doing a tour. Doing a women's empowerment tour. They want us to keep it under wraps, supposedly. But we're supposedly. gonna tell. We're gonna, we're tell, just gonna tell the world right now. Yeah, we're telling you guys. And then, can we tell them who else? Yeah. Who do you think? Yeah. <laughs> who else will be really, with us? Really, really. Miss Shannon Boudram. So if if you want us, because we're so like it's still early, we just need to know what cities to go to. Right? We're gonna have like a link. We're gonna like shout this out soon, and we're gonna have a link for you guys to like click on and like go and say, hey, I want you guys to come to this city or this city, whatever. You guys can like literally say where you want us to go, like how much you would be willing to pay for like a ticket. Like you can put all different types of stuff so that we can get stats and make sure we go to the right places and do the right things for you guys. So watch out for that. I'm gonna do I'm a little bit of eyebrows. Right there. In the info box. Okay, you're doing your eyebrows? Yeah. See, okay. I'm she just, just showed me a photo with her and David Beckham and her eyebrows were so... Can we please just insert this video? Nobody's gonna see it. <laughs> okay, I'll let you guys see it. <laughs> In this video. But now they're so Wait, where is it? thick. My brows don't grow. I probably grow one hair every six months. One oh my gosh, hair. well, mine used to grow like crazy. I should put Rogaine on Let me on see. I'm just using this brown. Whatever that is. Shablam. What brand is that? I don't know, I got this for Christmas. Pretty fun and fearless. See how thick my brows used to be? They're not this thick anymore. Are you kidding me? All of a sudden I started like losing, I don't know what it is. Like I thought it was stress. It was weird, I lost all my eyelashes like from something that I got at Beautycon, it was like Latisse. Literally, oh, it was, Latisse? yeah, it grew my shit out so long and then I stopped using it and then they all, all fell, fell out. out. Yeah, they haven't grown back the same. So you think they're long now? Imagine what they used to be. They're I know it's not related, but since I've been doing laser hair removal, I don't know why I feel like my eyebrows have been falling out a little bit. So I have to fill them in, which is not something that's normal for me, to. and it's really weird. I want to get that um, micro blading. Blading, yeah. Yeah. I'm scared, but I want to. You don't need to. Are I have to me? just a little bit, like this area okay. and this area. But yeah. I heard that if you get black, like it turns green after a while. Yeah. So I'm nervous. If you guys that. know anything about this, yeah, please. let us know in the comments. Yeah, because I would love to know. The eyebrow gal from Beautycon New York, she actually has this brush and it vibrates and you put it through your eyebrows and it's supposed to help them grow oh, back. Oh, like stimulate the... Yeah, so I used that for a little bit and it helped a little bit because they used to be a lot worse. Really? And then she also has this um, vitamin that you can take that helps your hair grow back. I but know. I had to stop doing that because yeah. I'm doing laser hair removal. <laughs> so you can't like want your hair to grow back yeah, when yeah, you're when trying to remove it in areas. All this money to get rid of it. Yeah. I actually just I'm like that Asian girl who just doesn't grow hair. See that's I'm half Filipino that's a good for those thing. of you that are new. <laughs> yeah, but I have like no hair on my arms. Actually, I remember the first time I shaved, I did it because all the girls in my school were and they're like, ew, you don't shave? Yeah. And I'm like, oh I, I and then I went home and I like stole my mom's like whatever you call it. What the hell? Why can't I think? Shaving cream? No, like the razor? Yeah. <laughs> I stole the razor and then I shaved. Then my hair grew back. I screamed. I couldn't believe how thick and sharp. Oh, right. It came back. I was like, oh my god. If I had known, mixed girl problems. That's why I have to get laser hair removal. In general, like a woman of color or someone that's mixed, the hair comes back really thick and curly, and that's how you get ingrown hairs. And that's why. The laser hair removal is so serious for me. Especially armpit area. That's what I'm so happy about with- I've been um, doing laser in my armpit too. Oh, really? Yeah. Bomb. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm like, so time? happy with Let that. Let me get rid of that. Yep. I do lip, armpit, and then- I haven't done Kini lip. area. I thought about it, but it's too late. Man, every time I have to do eight sessions, and every time that thing gets a little bit harder, <laughs> like, I have to like ice first and numb everything. Oh, really? Yeah. But it's bomb. I think it's so worth it. I would love to never see the wax lady again. <laughs> I went to one wax person 
I was just like, this is weird. And I just had her do my bikini thing. Mm -hmm. And then I waxed myself for the longest time. Like a what? Gangster, yeah. <laughs> you are. Oh my god, I could never, I could never do it. Just blood everywhere. <laughs> Did you film that ever? <laughs> no, oh this my is god! YouTube. That's a while ago, girl. I <laughs> I found your videos so long ago. Did I even tell you this story? No, no. So I remember when I first found your videos. I was like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty, and you had your hair. Your oh, hair. Re really? Yeah, and then when I first started dating my ex-girlfriend, and then I told her I was a YouTuber when we first started dating, or that like I was about to start YouTube because I just had started YouTube. She was like, oh my God, let me show you these people. And she showed me when you cut your hair off. Oh. And then, yeah, that's how, yeah, that's how I discovered you. And then, so yeah, I've been subscribed to you for, since I started YouTube. Oh, yay. Yeah. Man, it's so crazy. It's I remember back in like 2008, when one of my friends was doing YouTube and like she would come out to LA and stay with me, uh, Andrea, Andrea's choice. I just remember I used to like make fun of her. I'm like, what are you doing talking to your computer? Like, oh, like really? what are you doing? Like, this is so crazy. Cause yeah, like I would think she was talking to me or my sister in the other room that I'd go in there and be like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm filming on my computer. Cause back in the day, like that's what you did. Right. And um, and I remember I'm like, what the heck? Like this makes doing? no sense. Yeah. yeah, I kinda like made fun of it and then Meanwhile. <laughs> she's so successful. So get How it. How did girl. you guys know? Oh, because you guys are from the same area. Yeah. Right? Well, when's your birthday? September 17th. 17th. What does that make you? A Libra? Virgo. A Virgo? My YouTube channel is turning five. Oh uh, wait, uh, when is it? April 24th. Yeah, you need a party then. I'm tempted to do more now because you're doing stuff. <laughs> Put in the comments below if you would like to see me do Maya's makeup because I think that I would do a really good job. Okay, do it. I can do, you do your eyeshadow. Girlfriend? Oh, you did your, do your girlfriend's makeup. I did. She didn't give me props because she's a makeup artist. She doesn't count. Oh. She's judging me. Oh. And then I would put this on my hair, but I don't really need to right now. It smells so oh, bomb, it smells right? so good. Mm -hmm. All my friends call my hair cream, like, I. This is the coconut curling cream by Cantu, but I usually use the, just the moisturizer that looks like this. Everybody calls this the lady catcher. Cause coconut, like yeah, girls true. smell it from across the room and be like, what do you have in your hair? <laughs> like, how'd you meet your girlfriend now? We followed each other on Instagram and stuff um, for the past couple years. And then, yeah, we just randomly saw each other at an event about a year and a half ago. And then, um, yeah, I saw her and it was crazy cause I was there cause my friend was trying to hook me up with this woman, she's kind of semi-famous. And then he was like, oh, who's this? When I was with my girlfriend, mm -hmm. and he was trying to low-key hit on her. So it was so crazy. Oh, he's like, he's yeah. trying to hit on her. He's trying to hook you up with this other girl. Yeah, it was so crazy. And then um, we ended up getting each other's numbers because we talked about collabing because my, her, her brother-in-law is my friend from high school. Okay. So her sister was my friend, but is that her sister's husband now was my friend from high school. We actually went to like a dance with, and I went to a dance with him and everything. How did you discover this? Was it through when you guys were talking? A couple years prior. And then okay. the reason why we followed each other on Instagram is because he would always try to connect us. She oh, sings. right, yeah, yeah she And I used to be in the music industry, and we saw each other at a music event. Mm -hmm. And then, so anyways, we got each other's numbers, and then I left the party. I was like, this is kind of crazy. I left the party, and she started texting me about how the party was. And then she just kept texting me, and I was getting excited, and all my friends were like, bruh, she's like the straightest thing ever. And I'm like, I know, but like, She's texting late, you know, and wants to hang out. And like, we hung out like two days later and then um, it, she invited me to a gay club with one of her gay guy friends. Oh, okay. And he busted her out late in the night and was what like- mean busted her out late? Busted her out was like, she has a crush on you. And oh. I was like- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> my jaw dropped like, but in my head I'm like, suck it up, you're a gangster. Handle this, <laughs> suck it off. You know what I'm saying? Handle this situation. And then, yeah, so, and that was that. Okay, um, but you have to tell me about your boyfriend. So, is it from training? Yeah. Oh, oh shit, okay. We should have been talking about this. Yeah. He's really cool. Um, He started off as my trainer, but we also were following each other on Instagram for the longest time. Oh, yeah? I just followed him and I found him on the Explore page. And I legit was just like, damn, this guy can do so much. Like, he's so strong. His mm -hmm. Instagram is OMG Strength. Like, he can flag. He can do push-ups oh, on his thumbs. What? He he's crazy oh. on bars. Like he he's so flexible, and he he won a bunch of these bar competition stuff. So I just always followed him. I just never thought anything of it. And I saw that he was training people. I'm like, man, like one day I'll get to that level. But um, I had knee issues, so I was just training with um, my physical therapist's office. Once I got strong enough, I hit up my girl Melanie Fiona because she trains with him. 
my girl, um, you train with Brian. I was like, how is it? Like, she's like, oh my God, it's great. Um, I'll connect you guys. So she gave him my contact. He hit me up. And then the first day, because he trains at um, like whatever gym you're at. So mm -hmm. I have the gym in my building. So he came over and I opened the door. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> And I was like, this is gonna be a problem. And we kept training, I kept it professional because I'm like, well. I met him. Yeah. He was here at game night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. We were just dating. Oh my gosh, I met him. Yeah, he was, he was saying, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just love, just love no, it. I was thinking, you remember what happened? He was here. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Remember when Shannon dared me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but who cares? Okay. <laughs> and game night, Shannon had this dare. And I don't think I would have done it if he was here. Whatever. It was push-ups. You were doing push-ups. So yeah, that's how we met. And then he kept trying it to me, like just like trying to invite me to go to places. I'm like, you better stop. Patrick Stark. Patrick was like, Maya, who is this guy on your Snapchat? And I'm like, oh, that's my trainer. She, he's like, you better. <laughs> you better. <laughs> and then he, um, I was like, I don't know if he has a girlfriend or not. And then Patrick goes on his Snapchat and is like, you guys go check out this guy asking if he has a girlfriend. So then he got swarmed by all of Patrick Starr's. Dang! And then everyone was like, do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? And he was like deleting them all. He thought his account was being spammed. Did he say no? He didn't say anything. So I told him what happened. And I was like, oh, like Patrick wanted me to do a video with you. Like, um, and then I was like, yeah, but I don't want to like be disrespectful to his girlfriend. And he's like, oh, I don't have a girlfriend. I was like, ah. Dang. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but that's how we know each other. Mm. And that's how we started. So him and I have already held a mutual friends. Yeah, yeah. He's We're friends. friends. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'll be nice to him. Because <laughs> I feel like, you know, I have to be like your protective older brother. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's cool. I he's so sweet. He's, he's strong, nice so I won't beat him up. He's strong. <laughs> yeah. No, but he's I'll really like, he's so not insecure. Like, he actually. Well, yeah. Well, then, but then he was like. Be my girlfriend labels just before I went to Trinidad. <laughs> oh yeah, he, it, it was, he's smart yeah, for he's that. Smart, yeah, smart. he had to he had to lock it in <laughs> before he went wild out before there. I, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I can't even imagine this. She said she partied so hard when she was out there. I I don't see that. Every time we're in a situation where there's a party environment, she's like, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean? But I did go out with Ari. We, I, it, was I there? No, you weren't. Okay, what about all I, the times that I went out? Yeah, you weren't there. Okay, yeah. that's messed up. But I did. I didn't. I, did I see you culture. bust out and dance sometimes. Sometimes. But then it lasts for like 20 seconds. <laughs> Just a quick one and then I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Wait, are you done? We're done. That was actually, you're really quick. Oh, okay, good. Uh, I know I'm like really fast, so you I was just fast. chilling. Oh, you were. But yeah, like, that's the look. Wow. That's oh, the biggest thing, time. like, you know, for yeah, yeah, yeah. a woman that dates women. I'm like, oh, I'm ready to go. <laughs> An hour and a half later. <laughs> oh, are you done playing with the same part of your face? You've been, I've just been seeing you. Cool. Can we go now? Now that we're an hour late? I'm done. I'm I just want you to I know how spray it feels. It. Okay. That is a that is a fun part of doing makeup. Mm -hmm. I, I only recently started doing your life. Yeah, Shout outs to Beautycon. Yeah. It was like L Lux? Lux. Yeah, Luxie. Oh, Luxie. These ones are really good. I like the these two I use all the time. Oh wait, do I have one in here? Or no? This is for, for foundation. This is for contour. Oh no, I don't have one of those with me. So head over to Ari's... Oh, Ari! <laughs> Head over to Amber's channel. We're gonna do, what are you gonna do to me? I'm gonna make her a tomboy right now. I'm gonna put her in my clothes. I'm gonna see how she feels. We're gonna do a little interview with it. So yeah, you definitely have to check it out because she's gonna look different in a minute. Yeah, because this is- We might have to take the eyeshadow off and the lipstick. Okay, fine. You're gonna be me. I really am. Are you ready to, to become me? Off? Okay, yeah. So this is the look au naturel, a little tropical island gal thing. <laughs> um, so make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, and we asked them to comment below about, oh, which city? Oh, yes. Click the link in the info box and to wedemand.com slash whatever they make it for you. And um, make sure you guys let us know where you would want to see our women empowerment movement tour. Women, women power. Damn, girl. <laughs> Let me hide my shit. Shut up. Okay, that's it, guys. Head over to her channel, watch our video. Remember to do you, be you, and stay true. Yes. Be shameless. <laughs>